let me share something with you. A person, there are people who are serving God. And what we should know that when you serve God, God is going to test you. So some of those people may be wondering how would they know if they are being tested by God? Okay. I know for myself, we have to know that we are always being monitored by God. For myself, I know that I am being tested when out of the ordinary things, things that are out of the ordinary, how can I say this? Now, bad things are going to happen to us in life, right? But when I get tested, and it may be the same thing for you as well. Pretty much back to back. Bad things continue to happen. Like for instance, this bad thing may happen. Then later, another bad thing may happen. Or this person may have an attitude toward me trying to start something up. Or this issue here that issue there like so many issues <laughs> happening all at one time for instance uh in june of 2016 like back to back bad things continue to happen like back to back in June and July, just a whole bunch of mess in 2016 was happening back to back. And I am thinking, what is going on? I was being tested. Last week, I forget everything that happened, but so many issues were coming forth all at one time. And I am thinking, this is happening for a reason. I don't believe that I am in sin. I am not cursing. I am not having sex before marriage. I am not messing with a person's wife. I am not stealing. I am not doing none of that bad stuff. So these bad things that are happening to me is not due to sin. So these things are happening to me because I am being tested. So that means that God is watching me to see how I am going to react to everything that is happening to me, even when I know that these things are not coming to me because of the bad seeds that I have been sowing. Pretty much, these bad things are not happening to me because of the way that I have been acting. Make sense? So, when I notice all of these bad things happening to me, I'm like, okay. So I go out my way to be courteous to people. I go extra, like an extra mile to a certain extent for people when I know that that stuff is happening. Like so many bad things are happening because I know that it is a test and when I am tested, I am not saying that every time when I am tested, I do the correct thing every single time. I am not saying that. But usually what comes to my mind, I am being tested. So let me be more than I am now, if that makes any sense. 
let's say the way that I am now, you know, let's say that I am this nice person or whatever. Let's say I am nice to everyone. To make this easier to understand, let's rate it on a level one through 10. So on a level one through 10, let's say that I am nice at uh, level five. When I know that I am being tested, when all of these bad things are happening to me, it comes to my mind like, hey, you are being tested. So I may start acting more nice at a level six or a level seven when I find out that I am being tested. Because we have to know if you are not sinning a whole bunch or if you are not being cursed, so many bad things happening to you at one time, it's not a normal thing. You have to understand that unless you are being cursed because you are going to reap whatever you sow. So when you see so many bad things happening to you at one time, you, you have to ask yourself, am I in sin? What have I been doing wrong that is causing these bad things to happen to you? So if you figure that you have not been sinning, then the next thing is, well, you are being tested. And since you know that you are being tested, it would be a smart thing to want to pass that test. I believe this. I believe this. I believe that, and I may be wrong about this. So if you want to, you can put it in one ear and out the other. I believe that the more tests that you pass, I believe the higher that you are going to elevate and the more that you are going to be rewarded by God. I'm telling you, that is what I believe. Now, you can prove me wrong, that's fine, but that is what I believe. I can't really show you in the Bible where it says it at, that is why I am saying this is what I believe, my opinion. So I may be wrong about that, but that is what I strongly believe. Because you are going to reap whatever you sow. So when God places things on your path, now, if you sin, of course, you are going to reap whatever you sow. So if bad things are happening to you because of a test, if you pass that test, God is going to reward you for it. Make sense? Because everything has to follow the law of reaping and sowing. Of course, there is grace. So we may receive good things even when we don't deserve them. But pretty much everything has to follow the law of reaping and sowing. So this is how you know that you are being tested. When so many bad things happen to you all at one time, like everyone you talk to, everyone you try to involve yourself with, like things are not right. It just does not go well. You are being tested. And you have to figure out, is it happening to me because of, because of my sins? Or is it happening to me because I am being tested? Usually, what I find with people, many bad things are happening to you because you are still in sin. I know for myself, when I was in sin, that would happen to me. Like, it felt like the world was coming in on me all at one time. And even while I was in sin, I was wondering why are these bad things happening to me? 
even though I was treating people so poorly, <laughs> so badly, and I could not see myself, I guess you can say. So I pray that this makes sense. Now you know if you are being tested by God or not. God bless.